Mike from Artoria, Winterdam 2013, showing the Mini Lab controller. It's a USB bus powered controller, has 25 keys, touch strip for pitch and mod. And these two parameters here will either latch to the last position you held them at, or they can snap back down like a traditional pitch and mod. Um, you've got your octave down and up buttons. You've got a shift button for recalling different presets. You can put the drums on a different MIDI channel with the MIDI control center editor that ships with it. Play drums and keys on separate channels. You can select different MIDI channels by holding the shift button and hitting any of the first 16 keys on the keypad. This is really good if you're using like Ableton Live or something, you get a bunch of instruments open on different channels and you need to be able to turn them on and off and recall them. You just hold down shift and hit a key and that MIDI channel has been selected. You've got 16 encoders. These are 360 endless encoders. And it ships with the Analog Lab software, which has got over 5,000 sounds from the V Collection. So the same synth engine that you get in the V Collection is in the Analog Lab. You just get the best of the best presets. You can stack presets on top of each other. I'll show you what it looks like. In this view here, I've got these two slots here that I can drag any two presets to and just start combining presets and layering them on top of each other. It's $99 with the software. Same thing around springtime, it should be shipping. And um, it's bus power, it's very, very solid, well-built controller. And um, yeah, it's Artoria, Mike, Winterdam 2013. B-Boy Tech Report.